so I don't really post stuff like this um, very often, but it's been on my mind and I just feel like I need to talk about it. Um, so in the Sleepy Serum, which is what I've decided to call it for video purposes, uh, when the Sleepy Serum came out originally, we were told that it was going to be either a one or two part series, depending on the brand that you chose to go with. And that after receiving the one or two doses that you would be covered and, and you'd be doing what's right for your communities and protecting your loved ones. And you know, everybody was lining up and happy to do it, posting their pictures on social media with their card feeling like they were doing the right things for their communities. And I think genuinely that's what we all want, right? We most, the majority of us want to do what we need to do to protect our loved ones. So it makes sense. However, uh, fast forward from the beginning of all of this, we now have several boosters that are out. And we're being told that in order to maintain therapeutic range, in order to maintain the proper amount of antibodies to protect ourselves and protect our loved ones, that we need to continue to get these boosters. And I find myself struggling with the idea that there is enough science, there's enough evidence-based practice and information that was done ahead of time for this vaccine in order to say that that taking more doses is, is the right answer. Taking more doses is what's gonna keep us protected because when it came out, we were told one or two. So at what point in time did that change? If you think about vaccines, just in a general rule of thumb, let's talk about your kids. When you take your kids in to get vaccinated before they attend school or when they're a baby, you have a schedule. The schedule tells you which vaccines your child is going to need, at what point in time they're going to need them, and how many. How many is in the series? Because it's based on evidence-based practices. It's based on scientific research that has shown this is what needs to happen. This is what needs to be given. But we're not at that point with the sleepy serum, clearly, because if we were, we wouldn't have so many boosters coming up, right? We would have known about those. We also need to look at the fact that some people aren't qualified for certain vaccines or certain medications based on their pre-existing conditions or their allergies to different things. And so not everybody is a good candidate for everything on the market. So why is it that we are not looking at this as well with the sleepy serum? Why are we telling people, why is the top of the food chain, as I like to call them, the one percenters making all the shots, making all the calls here, why are they saying that this is what every single person needs to do in order to have your freedom, in order to keep your job, in order to travel? That doesn't make sense. Especially considering the fact that we went from one or two in order to be protected to three, four, five. There clearly isn't enough information. There clearly is not enough scientific proof to back what we are being told, to back what we are being fed. So I encourage you to think about that and I encourage you to turn off your televisions Stop listening to the, the lies and the garbage that you're being fed. Take off your mask, go outside, breathe in the fresh air, 
And you know what? Let's stand together. Let's say enough is enough. Because yes, the one percenter, the one percenters at the top, at the top of the food chain, the ones calling all the shots here, they are running things with fear. But there's more of us than there is of them. And if you think about it, the only reason why they have food on their tables is because of us. We the people are the ones that keep this country running. And what kind of world do we want to leave for our children, for our grandchildren? We have to think about that. And regardless of where you sit politically, it means absolutely nothing to me. What means something to me is that we stick together and stop letting this divide us. Stop allowing the one percenters to, to drive a wedge in between our families and our friends and to tell us that we could lose our job, our stability. What provide the, the, the very essentials, the, 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 the income to take care of our families and keep a roof over their head. If we don't put foreign substances into our body that at this point in time, they still haven't told us how many times we're gonna have to take it. So either they're not telling us, they're not giving us all the information and they know how many times we're gonna have to do it. They just don't want us to know. Or there isn't enough evidence. There isn't enough scientific proof to say, just like every other vaccine on the market, this is how many doses you're gonna need. This is the time frame that you're gonna need them in order to have antibodies, in order to be immune. So let's stand together because no one's gonna fight for us but ourselves. It's on us. Have a great day.